All right guys, we're out here in Montana today and we're gonna be doing some snowshoeing. How do y'all think? Think it'll go well? Yeah. yeah. Definitely gonna go well. Let's hit the trail. How's that view, Ollie? Pretty good. Oh yeah. Well worth the hike. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to snowshoe today. It's actually pretty easy. You just got to honestly just walk. And the only thing you do different is just spread your legs out a little farther so that way your snowshoes don't hit each other. And yeah, other than that, the snowshoes have a little uh, kind of like a spike to help you so that way you don't slip. And yeah, they they do pretty well. All you do is just walk. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Well, this is what a big frozen lake looks like. It's just arrived at the other side. But yeah, we just hiked off the trail, and we hiked from way down there on that side of the lake all the way through the woods. But then out there, all those tents that you can see, those are actually ice fishermen. There's some trout in this lake, but yeah, like way over there, that red tent, it's an ice fishing hut. So yeah, there's some good ice fishing here. But yeah, it's been a beautiful hike. The mountains are amazing up there. We're out on the frozen lake. We found some old ice fishing holes. We were able to break through, but it looks like there's maybe, maybe four inches of ice, maybe more. But if you come look, it's a lot deeper if you look at it. But we, if only we had a fishing pole. I was just uh, noodling. We got a couple of trout noodling. Oh, yep. Yeah. Noodling is actually quite popular up north. Just stick your hand in there. Fish will think it's a sausage, especially if you have fat fingers. And then just bite on, you got yourself a trout dinner.